All right, so for my mastery, I taught football. <laughs> so the driving question or the, folk, or the question I was focusing on is, how can I teach football fanatics about the game through an affordable and online course? Why? There were two main reasons why I wanted to do this. The first one was to learn how to market knowledge, and the other one is to make knowledge accessible because knowledge about football is extremely expensive. Now, I did have some potential clients for football courses that I've taken before. Furthermore, I also did some marketing research to, re to kind of see what the general public wanted. Out of this, I boiled my uh, course into three different units, leadership in football, tactics, and game preparation. And every single lesson had quizzes. Why was I qualified to teach? I spent literally my whole DGS career taking football courses and nothing more. <laughs> So I was able to create this uh, course. I've spent over 300 hours learning and teaching football. Now, from the creation of the course, a mission I had was also to incorporate some of my own views into football because I'm also a long leg fan. As you can see in the top right, that's the team I used to coach and the team I referenced during my football course. Uh, those are all examples of how I integrated things that exist already in football and how I give examples of my own. The first one is analysis, how professional teams analyze and how I analyzed um, what the team I coached. The second one is the logic of football and how did I incorporate that into my team. Uh, main attacking strategies and how did I incorporate that and adaptability and how did I adapt my own team. Now, how did I teach effectively? You know, uh, long-lasting long uh, videos are sometimes really boring to see. But thankfully, I did take a course on teaching as well. So from the Football Science Institute, they taught me that 65% of learners are visual learners. Furthermore, from this visual we see over here, this is how professional football players learn. They learn throughout animations, training drills, drill videos, and match clips, all of them which I had in my football course. I wanted my students to learn the same way professional football players are learning. So TGS is also a lot about feedback. Personally, I suck at design, but thankfully, some of my classmates don't. So as you can see here in the left, that was kind of what I started with and getting some feedback on it. I was able to improve drastically on my slides. <laughs> now, this is kind of the recording setup I had. I did learn from other football courses I took as to uh, light is important, having some notes to not stutter is important. I did have a lot of water because I was speaking from hours and hours continuously. And my computer, it was nothing impressive or yeah, expensive, but that was my setup. Now, for marketing. I created a point system to kind of uh, analyze what my clients have. And from those qualities, I would add up points. And the bigger, uh, the more points I had, the bigger the animal. Now they kind of see how this works, analyzing second <laughs> versus Queen Elizabeth. Now, second has so many attributes that I want in a client, and therefore he is a whale, <laughs> which equivalates to someone I should market to. In the counter side, Queen Elizabeth has almost none of the <laughs> qualities I'm looking for in a client, so therefore she's an ant. And well, second did buy my course, and she didn't, so. <laughs> now, from the, football, uh, from the original course I took, I, sp I started expanding my network and making friends and joining multiple other football courses, football group chats. To them, I applied my marketing strategy and I was able to label them as different types of animals. Some of them were free and some of them were not free, the course. Why were some free and some weren't? First of all is economic status. From the new friends I had just made, I was not aware of their economic status. And since one of my goals was to make it affordable, I made it free. Second of all, to kick up my statistics. Since my course was just starting off, I didn't have any beta testers, so making it free also attracted a lot of new clients. This is Kevin. Uh, Kevin is a, a one of my students from Lebanon, and this further reinforced my idea as to why I should make it free, because he was talking about how much he struggles. Now, I also wanted to remind my students to work in a way that's not annoying and it's funny. So therefore, I... <laughs> I took advantage of memes or events happening, and that's how I reminded my students to work. And as you can see, they all enjoyed it. <laughs> now, let's look at the statistics. Uh, I was able to teach 67 students across the world and with around 2,000 minutes taught. 
and student satisfaction, my course, uh, it did really well, having 26 ratings and was a top in Udemy. So yeah, thank you. I just have one, where is Adnan? Right there, oh, I remember Adnan told me, told me last year that imagine how crazy it would be if I left TGS with a job. And as 10 minutes ago, right now, I got a job offer from Club America, which is the great, biggest club in Mexico. Thank you.